hello everyone welcome back to ets2 it's been a while you know the drill oh, but we're back we are currently leaving oh head tracking's been funny today we're currently leaving tornshaven the where we left off at the agency uh, last episode we did oh, what was it 22 tons of empty pallets to tornshaven get around here my head tracking's being real funny today. I think it's to do with my microphone, so I apologise about the awful sound. Thank you very much. There we go. Hopefully once we get on the move, things should brighten up a little bit. Yeah, so... My plan today, as you can see, we're straight on the move. Plenty to do. I looked in the job market. Uh, my next plan was to go up to Iceland. I looked in the job market and there was nothing there to take me to Iceland. As far as I know... Oh, no, okay. Because that guy ha has the right away. So, I was talking to Indescribable. And obviously we'll, we'll get to him later. And he said, why don't you just free drive into Iceland? And see if there is a job there for you to pick up. The boy's genius. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm pretty sure it's this boat. Not the one we came on, but this one that will take us to Iceland. Who knows how long it's even going to take and the bills that are going to come out during that time. Okay. So I have, um, I've just currently come back from a week off of, of work and it's my first week off in six months. So if I seem a little thrown off, it's probably why. Um, also, sidebar, if the microphone sounds off too, the other day, before I went on holiday, it went kaput. So hopefully I will pick up a new one soon, in the next couple of days, and we should be good to go. Let's get up onto here. Go over to Iceland. I have a plan for today's episode, which makes a damn change. So, yeah, I, I searched here for jobs, but they all just went over to Norway and stuff. So, which Indescribable was like, yeah, do it, because I'm doing a lot of Viking stuff right now. He's playing Assassin's Creed, and uh, I can't remember exactly the name. He says the TV show he's watching. But, regardless, we're going to head over to Iceland. That's part of our plan. So, yeah, as I said, I've just, uh, oh, thank you, game. Just had a week off. I'm still exhausted, and I'll be honest with you, I did nothing. I, I went to Glasgow to see my family, and I did nothing for a week. And I'm pretty sure if you just work six months straight, you'd do the same damn thing. Look at the frames here. They're better. Yes. Wow, look at this. This is cool. Yo. Okay. So I'm pretty sure if we drive along a bit here. We can find an agency maybe. Sleep's fine. Not an agency, sorry. What am I saying? A job place. Yeah. Wait, are we driving? What side of the road are we driving on? Oh, we are on the right. I was going to say, I was a bit worried for a second there. So yeah, we're kind of freeballing it right now. We're going to see what we can find. Any jobs about? I think we're going to have to go down that way. Off to the left. Down into that town. If you expect me to pronounce any of these places, I'm sorry, I'm not the person that can help you there. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have a clue. So what we're going to do, I'll take a little stop here and we're going to have a look on the world map see if there is anything we can find uh there seems to be some jobs here i think maybe because i've now discovered the place it might let me take a job from here yeah here we go all right so that's all going back that way that way that way open Yeesh. not good external no, look, nothing. So, still no job. 
could head down to that place, maybe. Or is that where we are? This is all very confusing. Yes, maybe if we head down this way. I'm going to try in there as well. 47 miles. Take a nice little free drive. Why not? So, yeah, as I was saying, I, I was on holiday. I took uh, an eight-hour coach from London to Glasgow overnight. Definitely, definitely do overnight, believe me. So much better. Uh, let's get some cruise control on here. Maybe not. And, yeah, I just spent a week with family. Not really doing much, just catching up. Oh, my word. Uh, roads are a bit slippery here. You know, who would have thunk it? I'm going to take it easy. And, uh, yeah, I, I got back a couple of days ago. I was going to prepare some content for while I was gone. It was on my plan. But I've had so many technical issues, like I said, with the mic. And then audio wasn't recording. So, yeah, I, I'm straight back at work tomorrow. This is the last thing I'm doing before I go back to work. But it's been a very, very nice week off, I have to say. Um, I'm back home now. Look forward to getting some more recording done. I'd really like to get back on the My Summer Car as well. We did an episode of that a few weeks ago. Oy! And I would like to start building the engine in that game. I'm pretty sure I can do it on camera. I'm, I'm vibing myself up for it. So as I, uh, as I mention, um, holidays and stuff, um, if you still got to this point, if you managed to get past my ooh, horrendous intro and everything, write down in the comments down below where, where's the fav, where's the most favourite place you visited? Like, oh, what's happened here? Oh, oh God. Yeah, where's the most favourite place where you've gone somewhere, even if it's not like, you know, the most expensive place or the furthest away like what's the place where you went where you were like yo that's that's pretty cool i'll remember that because i've so i, li I live in the uk and fun tidbit i've never traveled out the uk um i got my passport about two months before the pandemic and i've never had a chance yet look at that chad you see that it's going for it. So, my answer to the question, favourite place, is um, last November, I, I went up to Glasgow and I went to Edinburgh for a day. Um, my family were partaking in a rally of some sort and, uh, yeah, I went to Edinburgh and the roads were closed off for the rally and I was just standing there joining in. So while they're all chanting for their stuff, I'm like, yo, um, free tour of Edinburgh. Yeah, cheers. But the roads all closed off. And it was it was actually really nice. <laughs> Got to explore a lot of Edinburgh. A lot of the same locations you see in movies. And the, the castle. Oh. Um, if I can get a picture up on the screen of, of the castle that I took. Um, yeah, it, it was phenomenal. Yo, look at that petrol station. That's awesome. I kind of want to stop there for the fun of it, actually. Look this petrol station off in the middle of nowhere. Caught in breast cancer. Oh, yeah. Be breast cancer. There we go. I still can't get over that coach that just flew by and overtook us. I'm so random. Unnecessary. So, yeah. Edinburgh, um... For views, well, I, I unparalleled. Oh, okay, thank you. That'd be mine. Uh, if you have one like that, definitely write it in the comments below. I'd love to read and respond to that. Um, especially as I'm not like well traveled like a lot of people, so I'd like to hear, hear some stories or locations and why. That'd be awesome. This place is crazy cool. I like this. 
Uh, we are almost at the next town. Hopefully we can find a job here. But this was exactly on my plan of, like, the drive I want to do. You know, we came up from France and um, we went across uh, England up into Scotland and then Stornoway, Faroe Islands, now to Iceland. We'll go around Iceland and hopefully go to Norway at some point. But um, as this episode so far has been very travel focused, I've got quite a cool story in a moment, actually. Uh, oh, as we've discovered the town, I'm going to hold these people up, press pause. Let's have a look for some jobs. Surely now we're in Iceland, like, it's got to have some jobs for us. Okay, what's it got? Out there, there. Aha! We've got one. Okay, we got one. That one. That is crazy good. Whoa, 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 head tracking. Yeah, I am. Very much apologize about that. This is the, as I said, the microphone's broken-ish. And I've got it in a very weird setup where it blocks the receivers on my head tracking to the mic uh, to the camera. So it's all a bit skew if. Yeah, so uh, besides the point, let's pick up this trailer. I don't actually know what we selected. So we'll have a look at that. And then uh, I've got a bit of a story time, actually about traveling as as this uh, as i said this episode is very centric around the subject hmm I feel like i've been to this place a thousand times before i wonder why freight market forklifts oh my Let's have a look see what else there is low bed low bed low bed low bed yeah they're all kind of the same aren't they I don't know what the difference would be. Oh, it's the wheels. Did we get a four wheel? Yeah, I'm not really that much. Look at that one. How much would... Yeah, take like that. No idea. But an extra wheel can't hurt, can it? I have my lights on, right? Yeah. Cool. Perfect parking. So it says... 232 miles. There's me looking at my actual watch. That's why it just went weird. Whoopsie. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we are now traversing... Not in the direction I expected across Iceland, but we are going across Iceland. So I thought we were going to go do more down the south way. Like the way we've just been driving to this town, but I think we're just going to keep it shifting. Go up diagonally up to the northwest. Uh, what tonnage is this? 11. So it's a, it's a medium kind of load for the truck. So we're still only level 5. We've got a lot to go. We don't have a lot of money. And as I've mentioned before, I think the only real way out of that... There's two ways, actually. I think... Is to, whoa, 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 sign. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Jeez. It's to either take a loan or just to grind. I think that's our only option, really, is to just grind our way out of this. Once we do that, obviously, we can hire a driver, buy him a truck. But otherwise, we're going to be paying back insane amounts of loans. I'd rather not do that. So to make that go faster, if 
you're interested in me doing a few time lapse episodes in between, you know, just to build up the money. Um, if that's yeah, if that's something you'd be interested in, uh, they'd be like four or five minute videos, but they'd be released way more frequently. Then, yeah, let me know. I'd be interested in that. So, penny for your thought. I like for your thought. Oh, I don't know. So, the main topic of this video actually is story I had. Um, it's a travel travel one. Um, starts in, I believe, October 2019. It was just before the a couple of months before the event that shall not be named, even though I've already named it. And me and Indescribable were planning on going to Glasgow. Uh, I was I was going to go see family, and we were also going to watch a concert up there. There's a musician that we like called John Bellion. He's from America, and he was doing a UK tour. And we thought, wow, yeah, cool. You know, I get to see family, and we both get to watch the concert. Win-win. So... We'd done the coach before, and we, we didn't want to do it again that time. So we thought, well, let's look at planes. I've never been on a plane. At the time, I didn't even have a passport. It's about two months before I got a passport. And, well, it's it's a domestic flight, so it's you don't really need a passport. Just country to country within the same region. So, yeah. But I... Still wasn't quite sure. I, I didn't know whether that was possible or whether I was going to get to the gate and they were going to turn me around and be like, sorry, Tony, you're not coming on, which would have sucked. Um, so our flight was about nine in the morning from Luton Airport in England. I think we left. We got up like three in the morning. I remember that. Like a ten to nine flight. Um... And the roads were completely dead on the way up there. It was about an hour or so journey up to Luton from where we're based. And I remember I wanted to save battery on my phone. I wanted to save battery. So I didn't want to connect Bluetooth up to Indescribable's car. Uh, I'll keep going. He's not going to move. And so I used, I used the AUX. I was like, right, I'm going to save battery. I'm going to use the AUX. So... We're jamming the tunes. We're like, yeah, I'm going on a plane for the first time. He's been on a plane, but still he was excited. And um, we get to our designated car park at Luton. Um, there's so many of them. Like, you need to get a shuttle bus from the car park to the terminals, or at least the front of the airport. So we did that. We got... I just said a government name. Whoopsie. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I just got indescri... Um, bear. I got indescribables... Car, we got it all signed in, all sorted, and we got on the shuttle bus, and we're like, okay, awesome. By the minute, my excitement's growing, and we get off the shuttle bus at the, uh, the front of the airport, and I always check. I always check my pockets, keys, phone, wallet, etc. I was like, I don't have my phone. Oh my god, I'm not going away for four days to a concert and seeing family and not having my phone. And luckily, the guy who, who drove us, he hadn't quite left yet, so we hopped back on the shuttle bus and we were like, please, take us back. We forgot my phone, and so it was just me and Indescribable on the way back to the, the car park. And the guy starts playing, like, reggae, like Bob Marley tunes, and we're just in the, we're in there just bobbing away. That was that was quite funny. So we we pick up the phone. Ooh, let's get cruise control on. Yeah, we pick up the phone, and we get our way back to the to the Luton. And I remember um, we went into the airport, and I was I was excited. I've never been on a plane. I was like, oh my god, it's gonna happen. Yeah. So I was very placid at first, and you know, it's like, okay, what's going on here? What's the vibe? And we check out some of the shops. I think we grab a coffee. I remember at one point the scribe will turn around and he said to me, he's like, dude, you, you gotta, you gotta chill. Like, you, you're gonna look weird. And obviously, I didn't know. I haven't been to an airport. I realized that looking excited meant dodgy, so, no, I toned it down and 
I remember after we got the coffee, we still had about 40 minutes till like the first gate call. So we decided to get a beer. And I th from my recollection, it is the only time in my life I've ever had a beer before midday. I don't really drink until the evening. I don't drink that much anyway. You know, more just a social thing. Are we going to make it up here? I'm quite worried. What gear are we in? I mean, I'm driving automatic right now. I could do a geared one in the future, but... Oh, we're going to make it good. So, yeah, we're at the airport. Having a beer. All seems good. I've done my Instagram story like, yeah, I'm getting on a plane. You know? And then uh, a couple minutes go, and then... That hill in the background is... Oh, it's rendering. I thought... Oh. And we get to the gate. And, and don't forget, throughout all of this, I still have no idea if they're even going to let me on the plane. I have a passport. So, yeah, we, we, get to, we get to the gate, wait a few minutes, and the guy literally just looks at the paper we have and just goes, yeah. Doesn't ask for ID or anything. Just goes, yeah, sure. It's like a coach. Just goes, yeah, yeah, yeah get on. And there were two parts, two reactions to me in that moment was like, what? Eh? And the other part was, and I say lightly, just, like excitement going on a plane. And we get on the shuttle bus, and at that point, even Indescribable couldn't stop my excitement. Even he was excited at that point. It's like, yeah, like, we're going on a plane. This is awesome. And um, I remember him thinking that I was going to be scared or worried but nah i'm not one of those people apparently we're on the plane strapped in they've done the brief we're ready to go start going down the runway and i just look at him with just glee i'm like yeah, we're off we're going and it was awesome yeah um flight was only about 45 minutes um we watched a bit of a movie on the way marvel movie i think and the i think the only worry i had was on the landing, we're coming into Glasgow, and it's raining, and it's windy. And I remember getting a little, little flustered, but nothing, nothing too major. Um, so, the flights themselves, for one person, just for me, it was a £40 return flight, so it's really cheap. I remember the car park was £35, so almost the same price as the flight, and the taxi from Glasgow Airport to my mother's house was £36. Just the taxi from the airport to my mum's was about the same price as my flights there and return. I can't believe that. That was crazy. Um, but I remember going there, the concert was fantastic, seeing family was great, and the return flight, we we had a nighttime flight. We, I think we left at about 9 at night, and I remember flying down from Glasgow towards London and we were on the right hand side of the plane and if you know the geography you can see Liverpool and Manchester um oh head tracking hello and uh I'll put another picture up on the screen it was just it was phenomenal um my phone definitely didn't do it justice but uh, yeah it was that was cool. Um, flying for the first time. I still have not flown since. I did uh, book a holiday for August 2020. Um, but we all know what happened there. So still am yet to use my passport. Um, I actually have a flight voucher from British Airways. It expires in about a year's time. I still haven't used it. Um, I was going to go to... Oh, what's this? 30. Oh, that's uh, a bit fast. Yeah, I was going to go to Marseille and Nice in France. But it never happened, which is a shame. But you never know. Hopefully at some point. Get on a plane. Again. Because, yeah, that, that, was, that was super fun. This time, I won't leave my uh, phone in the car. Sorry, indescribable. My bad. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, if you um, 
that was my kind of that was my story time of uh my plane journey but leading back onto from earlier if you have a story like a travel story or as i said earlier most favorite place that you visited you know whether that's either the most expensive or the purpose away or just one where you were like whoa awesome that's cool i remember that then yeah drop it in the comments let me know um and if you have made it this far thank you i really appreciate that uh as i said we're having some technical issues this episode so thank you for bearing with that one a lot uh oh north eastern region okay go cool. It's just there's a lot that goes into this game head tracking and the wheel and um my main game at the moment is i've been playing my primary is rocket league um me and indescribable play so much of that uh we're doing the weekly challenges and the season stuff and if, if you know what i'm on about you know but so rocket league you subscribe you pay a couple quid subscribe for about three months uh, it's a one-time payment but you're on it for three months and during that time you earn credits which go towards paying for the next season so once you pay it once you could theoretically just never pay it again as long as you earn the points and it's about a week away from the end of the season i'm i've leveled up about 100 or so times i think i'm on level 99 as we speak but my plan for that um on the next season is uh there's weekly challenges in the game where if you score a certain amount of goals or certain amount of points or something you know you get rewards and it resets every wednesday and so on the next season my plan is definitely to stream stream that either on youtube or twitch on wednesdays with indescribable that um that'd be awesome to do that uh, i've been thinking about it for a while but so much going on okay no car cool there we go we've got 100 miles to go so yeah that's my primary game at the minute is rocket league I'm still absolutely rubbish. I'm level... I think, the last big achievement I remember getting was level 850. So, yeah. I've been playing it for quite a few years. Still not great. Um, I'm like diamond, plat, you know, plat slash diamond. Nothing major. But I'm interested to hear from you guys as well. What's what's your primary game what's the game where not always the one say that you record or oh anything like that just the one where when you sit down in front of a computer or xbox it's like that game that you just load into or the one that you can always fall back on you know i guess for some of you it might be gta um could be something like fortnite or i don't know i don't uh some of you might even have a far off game so whatever it is let let me know okay <laughs> whoops i want to have a look at some games as well so because i would very much like to try and get american truck simulator on this channel at some point i own the game i'm absolutely terrible at it uh there we go but i'd very much like to try it at some point american truck sim would be kind of cool get some american stuff going um and there is actually pro mods for american truck as well so we could even do canada I think Canada. Here, bud. You know, that'd be quite cool. Drive with caution. Snow ahead. Oh, God. Okay. This is going to be fun. So, yeah. I, li I like the kind of games to be on my channel as... Uh, Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, um, and My Summer Car very classic games at this point that's what i'm trying to stay at um i try not to try too much of the cutting edge stuff like there's a game called mon bazoo on steam if you've heard of it awesome it's set in canada funny enough it's a bit like my summer car but a bit more simplistic i'm waiting for it to be a bit more further developed before i try that one out but i'm very interested in it the same with a game called landlord super which is set in northern england in the 80s that's just not quite there yet either so they'll definitely be games that'll be on the list once um they're a bit more further developed oh 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 i knew that was gonna get me 
But if you're into games such as Far Cry, those type of I don't even know what you call jungle warfare type of games, um, or something a bit more futuristic, like Cyberpunk 2077, um, then definitely check out Indescribable. Uh, there'll be a thing at the top corner now. There you go. Oh, look at that guy, huh? Yeah. And uh, he has, I'm pretty sure, between all of his series over the last couple of months, he's got about... 70, 80 episodes you can go back and watch. Um, you've got hours of content there. I know I don't upload as much on this channel, so if you're waiting for me to upload, um, definitely go check out his stuff. Uh, and if you scroll back and find rightly, I am in an episode or two. So I'm pretty sure I'm in a Cyberpunk episode and I'm in a Far Cry episode. And the Far Cry one is very funny. Um, I remember us talking about retractable beards. Uh, there's a guy in a cutscene whose beard disappears and reappears. And we talk about that. That's quite funny. And ironically, he says he says my real name in it too, and we have to bleep it out like I've just done earlier in this episode. So, yeah, that's it's a good series what he's doing. It's very enjoyable to watch, and I know my stuff's a lot more chilled out, relaxed. And if you're looking for some more high octane, like. Uh oh then definitely go give that a watch um even i'm yet to catch up on some stuff so <laughs> sorry definitely go give it a watch so we are 59 miles away it says saturday 9 18 wet um i'm not entirely sure what wet means is that where we're going oh my god we're going to a place called wet <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, so it's... What is that? 7.52 in the morning. It's light. I wonder if it does that thing in, the, in this game where it gets... It stays light the more north you are. Like, right now, it technically shouldn't get dark. I don't think. Or it shouldn't as much. Because um, I was playing uh, my last episode of My Summer Car... Um, I had a mod that actually did that to the game, but it just, it was so bad, I don't know if I actually broke it or not. But it was like one in the morning and it was still light. Because the game's set in Finland, which is very north. And I've taken that mod away now for the next episode. I even mentioned it right at the end, I pause and I go, hang on, this isn't right. Because some of the stuff I was doing in the episode, it should have been dark and it wasn't. So, when you see episode 5, the time's all going to be right now. Um, but that'll be the next video that comes out after this one. We're going to start building the engine. Um, it's, I'm going to make no mistake here as well. I'm going to be following a guide when I build it. Um, it's not going to sound like I am, I don't think. It's going to sound like I know what I'm doing. But I don't want to be under the false presumption that I am doing it from memory. Because I'm absolutely not. It will be from a guide. And I guess like the most minuscule part of muscle memory. But I really look forward to that, actually. We've got a lot to do still in that game. Uh, apart from building the car, we've got um, businesses to start. We've got to help a guy move. Um, there's the end game as well, which I won't spoil. Lots to do and a lot to mess around in as well. It's, it's one of those games that gives you that GTA type feeling at times. But except the car you're driving, you just can't break. You have to go. Oh, and you have to work so hard on it. That when you finally achieve it, I mean, no game I've played reaches that level of, like, satisfaction when you've built it or you've done something and you're like, yes, and you crack open a beer in the game and you go, I've actually earned that in-game beer. It's, oi, hello. There's no other game that quite matches it, if I'm being honest. Uh, we're still going. What is that town over there? Am I going over there, I reckon? Have a look at the map. We are. We are going over there. So glad to be off that snow. That almost got me twice, that did. Still, though, shout out to Indescribable for having the idea. Just free roam, find a job. Bob's your uncle. I don't really know much about Iceland. Um, I'm going to do some 
research in between episodes, I think. Obviously, I know Reykjavik is the capital, and there's a volcano there, which erupted about 10 years ago. Um, I remember Top Gear did a episode, James May took the Hilux, and it like, got melted. Well, the wheels melted. Yeah, I remember that. Hey, look, we're almost here. Look at the views. Look at this. This feels very northern. This is just like I'm driving in the Arctic. I'm in the northern circle, really, aren't I? It's Arctic circle. Fantastic. What a drive. I'm sure we're going to continue through Iceland in the next episode. Whoa, sorry about the frames. We're approaching a town. I mean, actually, apart from Tornshaven, the frames have been absolutely fantastic in this episode. Um, I've only got a mid-range PC, but the new graphics card upgrade has been an absolute godsend. Well, I think we're good. Are we okay? Yep. Yeah, so... Yeah, the way my microphone's positioned, it's blocking certain parts of my head tracking, which is... That's what's making it, like, drift across quite a lot. Oh, turn off. But that should be fixed in the next episode. Probably not the next My Summer Car one, but in the next one of this, yes. Pro Mods is fantastic, though. But not a single thing that you see here is in the base game. None of this. The furthest you can go in the base game is Aberdeen, which is like halfway up on the map in Pro Mods. Phenomenal. Um, I'm guessing we can... Yeah, now let's go behind this guy. Not risk it. What? That's crazy. Get rid of that. There we go. Cargo truss. He's pressing the cargo. I mean, it's traverse. Oh, it's like cargo trap. Yeah. Language in it. Can we go, please. We're almost there. We are well one mile away. What's going on here then, eh? Oh, is that us? We're off. I would be lying if I said I didn't like the, the nitty gritty when you get stuck in with the traffic. I imagine it'll be quite similar around here where I could be driving for quite some distance. Oh, he didn't hit me, did he? No. Without actually seeing anyone or anything. Oh, waiting for a bus. You're freezing, man. Where are we at? Oh, we actually still got some way to go. We are in this lane. Ah, right. never mind then. Okay, easy does it. Do this right. It is a simulator after all. I still don't understand how roundabouts work like that. Well, if someone just hit inside you, I guess they wouldn't, but... Oh, yeah. Okay, I kind of get it. Makes sense. So this is it. Uh, we're just up here. So yeah, just the recap from today's episode. Down below in the comments, if you want to put your favourite place that you visited, just whether it's for the views, destination, even just expensive, go for it. Like, give me a story. I'd love to read and respond. And also, um, what's your daily game? What's your what's your go-to game? Ah, right. Okay. Oh, let's spin that. Right. Oh my word. Right round. Yeah, what's your favourite, like, you go to? I like to start looking into some things. Be definitely interesting. And I will respond to every comment. Unless this is like five years in the future and this video has like 500,000 views, in which case, sorry. But, you know. <laughs> I will respond and like. Where are we up to? Let's have a look. Level five, score out one.
that's not bad. So we've got some dollar. We're up to 15k. That's cool. Um, is there anything here that we need to look at? We haven't leveled up, so probably not new stuff that we can get. Uh, skills. I think next time we'll go for fragile cargo. That'll probably be a good one to get. Um, get back into here. I see a. Oh, actually, it's a rest stop just over the road. Would you look at that? Oh. Did you stop for me? Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate that. What a guy. Oh. Bit bouncy, isn't it? All right, let's get ourselves parked up nicely in here. Next episode, we shall be further traversing into Iceland. Oh, oh. Let's go that one. There we go. And... I think I'm going to change the paint colour up as well. Might go for a black or a white. I mean, basic, because we're in Iceland, so I think it'd be quite cool. So, yeah, from me, uh, oof, the coach earlier that overtook us at crazy speeds, the sand that almost took us out, and the hotels that are still in English, even though we're in Iceland, um... Thank you so much for watching and bearing through the technical issues. And yeah, the, um, drop some bits in the comments about what I mentioned today. But love to hear back. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.